Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny. I'm from Jenny Card Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. My YouTube channel contains content that is intended to share paper crafting tutorials and inspiration with all of you. I hope that you enjoy. In today's video, I'm going to be making some cards for her. I have this sentiment sheet that's got all these different greetings for her with two different fonts. So we have for my sister, for my mother, for my aunt, for my niece, for my granddaughter, for my grandmother, for my friend, for my sister-in-law, for my mother-in-law, and for my goddaughter. And then we have all the same sentiments again that say to my amazing sister, to my amazing mother, and so on. So there's a total of 10 greetings and two fonts for each greeting. So you can make up to 20 cards with these strips. So I'm just gonna pop this into my trimmer and I'm just gonna use my guide to trim these out into sentiment strips. For today's video, I'm just going to use the regular font. I'm gonna save the scripty font for another project. As I mentioned, these are all gonna be cards for her. This download will also include the matching sentiments for him. So be, you'll be able to purchase a download that has both for him and for her sentiments. So they'll come together, you'll be able to download them, print them out as many times as you like, and use them for all of your card projects. So I'm just gonna go through here and cut these sentiment strips out so that I can put them on my card projects. So once I have them all cut out, again, I've got 10 sentiments, and I'm gonna keep these extra strips. These are just some extra off cuts from when I sliced out my greetings, and we're gonna use those to add as dimension. So I wanna make some pattern paper cards. I have tons of six by six pattern paper, as you can see in this little bucket here. Um, so I just like to flip through and see what inspires me. And I pulled out this Gina K Designs Garden Tour pattern paper set. And I thought this is gonna be perfect for what I need. So this is the pattern paper set that I'm going to use. And if you like this pattern paper, I'll link it in the description box down below. But for these cards, you can use any patterns that you have. I'm gonna show you a bunch of different ways to chop up these pattern papers to create a different variety of handmade cards. So here are the five patterns that I chose from that pack. And I'm going to make two cards per pattern. And these are just top folding, pre-cut and scored, uh, a two size card bases. So for the first one, this is a really fun and whimsical image and I'm going to cut this. We're going to start cutting at four and a quarter inches. And then I'm going to put that little strip off to the side. I'm not going to use that. It's a scrap that we could use to decorate the envelopes or whatever. And then I'm going to turn this on across the six inch side. I'm going to cut at two inch increments. So I'm going to get two inches and two inches and then I'll have a third strip that measures two inches. So I'm just kind of figuring out my layout and then I decided that I want to decorate the inside of all of my card projects today. So I'm going to make two cards per pattern and we've got that extra little two inch strip that I'm going to cut in half. So I'm just going to have a strip that measures a four and a quarter by one inch, and I'm going to glue that on the inside of my card. So I have all these pieces cut out, and I'm going to use my T-square ruler to help me line up my pattern paper on the front of my card. But first, I'm just going to adhere this little strip uh, on the bottom of the inside of my card base, and I'll adhere both of those strips down on both on the inside of both of those cards and I'll line those up right with the bottom of the card base. So once I get that adhered, I'm gonna to switch to the front of the card and I'm gonna use my T-square ruler and I'm gonna line the ruler up with the bottom of the card base and then put my pattern paper on top. So I'm using the distance of the thickness of that T-square ruler to place my pattern paper down on both cards. And then I'm gonna flip through this book of craft foil cardstock that I have. This is, um. I think this is Ranger or Tim Holtz, something like that. I'll leave it linked in the description down below. So I'm going to cut up some quarter inch strips and then some eighth of an inch strips to decorate the front of my card base to add some shine and some foil. I'm going to apply Dot Runner to this strip and then lay it on my card base. And then I'll just use my scissors and cut off that excess. You can save these little extra foil strips. They're not gonna fit on anything else, so I'm just gonna save them in my scrap drawer. So now I've got here this 
sentiment for my goddaughter. And then I'm gonna grab some of those scrap strips that we had left over and I'm just gonna cut a bunch up and stack them on top of each other. I'm gonna do three layers of scrap to create a little bit of dimension, apply some adhesive and set that down on the front of my card. And I'm making sure this is the same amount of distance around the bottom and the two sides. And then I'm gonna grab some of these jewels. I just picked this up from the dollar store. It's nothing fancy, but I thought they were cute and the colors matched the pattern of my card. So I'm gonna put three on the top and three on the bottom. And then that's it, these cards are done. I'm not gonna do anything else. And here's a look at the two completed cards. For the next card, I've got this cute floral pattern and I'm gonna put it in my trimmer and I'm gonna start cutting at four and a quarter inches. And then I'm gonna turn that cardstock and then cut it down to three inches. So I'll have two pieces that measure four and a quarter by three. And it'll layer on the front of my card base nicely. And then I've got this little scrap left over. I'm gonna cut this in half. So I'll get like two one inch strips that I can layer on the inside of my cards. So then I'll cut those down to four and a quarter so that they'll fit perfectly on the bottom of the inside of my card. So I'll go ahead and I'll adhere those strips on the inside and I'm just lining it up with the bottom of the card base. And I'll do that for both cards. And then I'm gonna go back to that purple foil and I'm going to create a matte layer for these florals. So I'm gonna cut a piece that measures four and a half by three and a quarter. So this will give me a nice purple border around my floral pattern. If you wanted to save your foil cardstock, you could die cut the center of these and nobody would know. And you could use it to cut out sentiments or shapes or things like that. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and layer these on top. If you wanted to stretch your foil farther, you could definitely do that. So I'm going to grab the sentiment here for my niece and I'm gonna back this on some of that purple foil cardstock. And then the same thing with the strips, I'm using some of those scraps to create a little bit of dimension. And I'll add three of those purple jewels. I add three on the right on the top and three and three on the left on the bottom. And then this card is complete, super simple. And here's a look at those two cards that I made. Okay, for the next layout, I've got this elegant looking pattern paper. Now, before I cut, I should have cut off the strips on the bottom so that I could use it on the inside of the card, but I kind of forgot about it. So I ended up cutting this strip in half at three inches and then coming back and cutting off a quarter of an inch off of it and cutting it down to five and a half. So my strip is two and three quarters by five and a half. And then I have a little quarter inch strip for the inside of the card. And then I'm going to apply adhesive to this. I'm gonna use that T-square ruler for a placement guide for my pattern paper. So it ends up being a little bit more to the right than I wanted it to be, but that's okay. It's gonna add some nice interest because I'm gonna add some more of those foil strips. And I'm gonna use this sort of peachy rose gold foil I think it matches the reds in the pattern paper nicely. It's a nice complementary color. So I'm gonna cut up some strips for this and I'm gonna cut them the length of the card base. So they're all gonna be five and a half inches. So I'm gonna take a little quarter inch strip and line it up on the inside of the card base. And then that gives us a really nice elegant look on the inside. And then I'm gonna put a quarter inch strip on the right of the pattern paper Sorry, that's wrong. I've got an eighth of an inch on the right and a quarter inch on the left. That's better. Sort of helps tie everything in together. And then we get a really neat sort of interesting look on the front of the card base. I really like the way that this one turned out. It looks very elegant and classy and, and I really love this peachy foil cardstock. So I'm gonna grab the sentiment here. This one is for my aunt and I'm going to back it on some black cardstock once again. I'm going to add some adhesive, layer this on the black cardstock and trim it out, making sure that I get it nice and straight as best as I can. And I'm going to layer some more of those little scrap pieces. I'm using some smaller pieces here and I can kind of put them side by side. So I'll get those cut out and I'll layer a couple of those scraps on the back here. And then I'm gonna pop that on the card base and I'm gonna put it on the bottom 
right hand corner. So it's kind of like popping out from the pattern paper. I think it gives it an interesting look and kind of draws your attention right to the word. So I like the way that looks. And now I'm going to grab a couple of sort of aqua blue tones and the aqua blue in these little gems match the pattern paper nicely. So I like that. And I'm going to put one below the sentiment and two above the sentiment. And just going to crease my card base, make sure I have a nice sharp crease. And there we go. Here's a look at the finished card project. For the fourth layout, I was really enjoying that foil cardstock with these pattern papers. I think the colors in that pack really matched it nicely. So I was just kind of figuring out a different layout for this one and I thought I would like to have this kind of laid out like this. So I cut it in half at three inches and then I cut off about an inch off the bottom. Now, if I had done this in hindsight, as per usual, I should have cut off the inch first so I was able to layer those pieces on the inside of my card base. But at this point, it was too late, so we just roll with it. So I'm going to grab some of this sort of minty green foil cardstock, and I'm going to trim out a piece that measures three and a quarter by five inches, as my pattern paper measures three by four and three quarters. So I'm going to layer that foil cardstock on the front of my card base. And I did have a few scuffs on the foil, but it's not a big deal. My pattern paper is going to cover it. And you're not even going to see it. So I'm going to layer that pattern paper on top of that green foil. And I like this layout. I like this sort of how everything kind of comes down from the top. I like the way that that looks. And again, if you wanted to save your foil cardstock, you could die cut from the center of this. I just layered everything on and like the way that it turned out. So I'm going to cut a couple of little quarter inch strips of green foil cardstock to line up on the inside of the card base. I'm not doing anything overly complicated. I'm making really simple and easy designs. And then I thought I wanted to create a little banner. I've never been very good at these little fishtail banner things, but I wanted to try it anyways. I had a few scraps of that green left, so I thought I'll just add a little tiny banner up into the top. So I'm just cutting a slit down the center and doing my best to create matching sort of fishtail banners. I don't know why, they just never turn out for me, but it is what it is. I think I probably have some dies that will be able to cut this out better than me doing it by hand, but it turned out okay. I was happy with the result. So I'm just going to add adhesive and pop that onto the top of the card base. I'm going to take some sentiments here and mat them again on that black cardstock. I'm going to layer that onto some black cardstock, add three of those little adhesive gems to the bottom right hand corner under the sentiments, and there we go. I'll just use my bone folder to crease my card base to get a nice sharp crease so that they lay nice and flat. Here's a look at these two cards. Okay, for my final card layout, I decided to use some heart dies. This is from a Gina K Designs Master Layouts die set. There's a stitched border heart and then a shadow layer that's designed for these to layer on top of each other. So I've cut the layer out of the peach foil cardstock and the stitched heart out of the pattern paper. And I just thought that that, that peach really complemented the colors in the pattern paper. So I've got my two hearts adhered together and then I have a quarter inch strip that I'm going to put on the inside of my card base. And then I'm going to add a one inch strip on the bottom of the front of my card base. And then I'm going to add a little eighth of an inch piece of foil on either side. And I've also added a piece of foil on the inside as well over top of my pattern paper. So everything kind of coordinates nicely and ties in together beautifully. So I'm just going to trim off those excess pieces hanging over the card base and I'm going to adhere my heart down on the top center. The only adhesive I'm using today is my dot liner. It's my favorite adhesive. And then I'm going to take that sentiment strip and I've got it backed on some black cardstock and I'm going to pop that right over top of the heart. And I like the way that looks and that's it. I'm not going to do anything else to this card. These cards are complete. I love those peach tones in this card. I think this one turned out to be my favorite. I'm going to use my bone folder, crease those 
score lines to get nice sharp creases on my card base and then that's it here's a look at all of the cards that we made in today's video we've got a card for my grandmother for my mother for my friend for my niece for my granddaughter for my goddaughter for my aunt for my sister for my sister-in-law and for my mother-in-law and that's going to be it for today's video thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend it here with me i appreciate the support as always all of the products that i used in today's video will be linked in the description box down below if you're interested in making any purchases please use my links as it helps support my channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already hit that notification bell so that you'll be aware of all future uploads and like this video if you've enjoyed this content here today. Coming up on screen is a video sharing more ways to use up your pattern paper on cards. Have yourself a lovely day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!